Remember we've been talking about money? Today we're going to talk about shapes. So looking at that same figure, what shape do you see here? A triangle. A triangle. Good job. Here's one, two. How many faces does the box have? Six. We decided to do a pilot program for VMATH with um, the zone which I work with, which is our southern zone. There's four schools. I started as an instructional aide about three years ago, and I just graduated last year, so I became a teacher my first year this year. Remember when a whole decimal grid is, it, it's the whole thing is covered in. The teachers have really enjoyed using it. The students have enjoyed using it. I like it because the lesson's there. It's, it's all laid out for me. I like how it's set up where it reviews a concept from a previous lesson. Tenths and hundredths, okay? Just a little refresher. And then building into the new concept. So we're going to start all the way to the right in the thousandth place. And then giving that group work together, especially the scaffolding. So how many squares are shaded in the second decimal grid? Two. Two. I feel like we're ready to do our independent work, okay? And then it gives them the independent work where I see did they actually get it. I like how it's set up. Once you get into it and start using it, it's a really easy program to use. Those who just came in, turn to page 21, okay? If so I'm having a hard time explaining something to a student, that helps me step by step. Solid figures are not flat, but they are made of shapes called faces. They need that extra support. They need those visuals. They need those hands-on activities. So they have a picture of a tissue box like this. One, two, Three. They also give you the extra lessons to kind of go on the side for the special needs children. That extra step, but that extra activity really helps. We like the technology component of it. The students can use the technology in the classroom. They can use it at home as well. Teachers can pull up reports on how the students are doing in the classroom. It lets me see where they're at. And especially with the pre-test and the post-test, I can see where they were before and now I can see how they are afterwards. So I can see their growth. We've had a lot of success with the four schools. They've made great progress with all of their scores from each grade level, second through fifth grade. So we decided to further this with all of our schools. We are putting that now in 20 schools for next year, our elementary schools and one of our middle schools as well. Can you tell me how many sides and corners the rectangle has? I really like BMATH because it aligns with what's going on in the classroom. It runs straight along with what they're supposed to be doing on grade level. If they've covered money perhaps in the classroom, I know I'm about to cover money in my next module which lines up. Then write the rest of my numbers. Using VMATH we have the potential of students exiting EC services um, because they are making such great growth in their math goals. I see them actually learning and they're actually applying it and remembering it. They're liking math now. They feel like they can do it 